Hey guys, Jeremiah here, trapping today, and I'm bringing to you part two of my Martin trapping check day number one of the 2020 season. And uh, this is this is a good one. This is where the action happens. So you saw a lot of the sets in part one, where I uh, you know empty traps and not a lot of fur. Checked quite a few traps. I believe I was about halfway through the line at that time when we hit the last video there and then things started to to get cranking so just a little update as I record this now I'm having the best Martin season that I've ever had um, and so it's it's uh, really good it's really exciting and uh, the first come and everything's kind of clicking so I hope you enjoy this I'm gonna take you to a bunch of sets and and show some fur show some some more ups and downs and just a little just uh, what goes on on the trap line so I hope you enjoy it also don't forget to check out my store trappingtodaystore.com you can find uh, the lures that I make and I use on the trap line you can find my books and this sweet mustelid shirt trapping today prized mustelids of the North American trapper so uh, yeah you can get that all there trappingtodaystore.com thanks very much and I uh, hope you enjoy it thanks for tuning in this is a side road that I get traps on, and this is one of the most beaten down, wore out, grown in old roads. There's a bear bait at the end of it, and that's the only thing keeping it open. But boy, it is nice looking Martin country. You look in the aerial maps, it looks like it hadn't been a, a scar on the land in the past 40 or 50 years. And so I, I beat the truck up and, I, and set, oh, I think I set five boxes in here try to see if I can't catch Martin. I do have one right here from the, at the beginning of the road and then I got four more further in. Let's check this one real quick. It's by this little brook. Trap is fired. All right, see we're on this this nice little bench. I like this because I think Martin run up and down here and kind of hunt where they can visually see down below him. Let's see if we get a Martin or if it's a squirrel or if the trap is just fired. Ah, eh, shoot, the trap is fired. And oh, oh yeah, we get we get a Martin in there. Uh oh. We get a Martin that got eaten by something else. Oh man, I hate that. Yeah, this might not be good. Yep, we got a Martin that got eaten. Well, I'm glad we made the catch anyway. I don't know what the heck ate him. Oftentimes Fisher will do it. Could be another Martin. This isn't really Fisher country. I didn't see any Fisher tracks, but. Oh, that's a bummer. I hate to waste. I hate to see fur wasted like that, but it's part of the game, man. We made a catch anyway. I'm I'm happy about that. All right. Okay. Upon further investigation, I think we found the culprit. There's a set of fisher tracks coming up through here. And it looks like the fisher came up and ate our martin that was caught in the box. So anyway, that happens sometimes. I hope we can catch this fisher next time. He knows there's food here, so hopefully he'll be back. I'm gonna reset this and bait it. Thought that I saw a martin track uh, just down the road here as I was driving by. And sure enough, that's what it is, a martin track. Man, I'm not used to seeing all these martin tracks while I'm martin trapping. I'm in good country this year, I think. Um, way better than I've been the last couple of years. Look at that, there's, the, there's a rabbit there too. Um, where's oh, there's my box. So, focus on these tracks and look at my box. The trap is fired, man. Oh, what do we got here? I hope we don't. Oh my god, yep, another cannibalized Martin. Holy crap, I caught another Martin and it got eaten. You have got to be kidding me. Two times in a row, two sets in a row. This Fisher, there's his tracks. There's the Fisher tracks. Oh my, oh, this sucks. I gotta catch this Fisher. This is unreal. It's like like a wolverine in Alaska. Well, I'm happy I caught a martin. I'm kind of bummed out. Though that this fisher's... I got two martin and two traps in a row. And this fisher coming and grabbed, grabbed them both. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna get them. Maybe the next set we'll get them. Okay, we've, the last two traps have caught Martin. In both traps, a fisher has come in, the same fisher, I'm sure, and eaten those Martin. So I just saw fisher tracks a little ways back there. I don't know if he's continued on and found this set. I'm just hoping we catch that fisher. Uh, it may be big, too big to get into our box. It's a very much a likelihood, but let's uh, let's see. We've got three more traps on this string. Two more after this one, and uh, so I guess three chances to get that fisher. And this is not one of them. Looks like it doesn't look like anything's come into this set. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, we get two more chances to try to catch that fisher that's been eating our Martin. This site is actually at a bear bait, so I'm assuming the fisher has been coming into this bait since August through the bear hunting season. So he's used, used to it. Um, I'm not set right on the bait, I'm next to it. There's our trap. I don't look, didn't look like anything. No. And we might not get a crack at that fisher until next check. We'll see, one more chance. He's, I saw his tracks back here on the road again, but he's been running the road. All right, I don't know how much of that recorded. I, I thought I was recording and then I looked at the phone and there was nothing going. But anyway, this is the last set in this string of five traps on this old road. Um, it's all grown in, hadn't been harvested in a very long time, and it's just beautiful habitat for Martin. Um, I got five traps in here, and I've got two Martin so far, and there's a stupid fisher running up and down the road, and a fisher ate two, those two Martin out of the box. Um, get this last chance to get the fisher, and I didn't get the fisher, but the trap set off, and we get a Martin! <laughs> nice Martin! So we got one martin on here that the fisher didn't find um this is amazing this is really again really good habitat it's a good year uh and i can't recall a time when i've caught three martin and five traps in four days this is just incredible so i i'm i'm real psyched about this uh and i'm i'm also psyched because we got these five sets will be working next time when this fisher comes through again hopefully in the next couple checks we we may have that fisher um, but let's take a look at this Martin. Man, this is great. This is great. All right, look at that. Nice Martin. For, for early in the season, this is first really, really nice, actually. So, good deal. Love it. All right, we'll carry on, man. We got a bunch more traps to check. I'm psyched. This is the most Martin I've caught in a single day in uh, years. And this is... Uh, I'm only about halfway through the sets, so this is great. This is great, great day. We are back on the main road here. We're dropping into this valley. Really pretty valley, I love this area, it's nice. And down near the base of this hill, I've got a little side road off to the right. Big bump, big bump, holy geez. And I got two traps on that side road, so. Let's take it, check it out. See the main road goes off to the left here. There's a little pond down here. The road dead ends, not too far down. And uh, I got a trap on the left here, part way down the road, and then I got one right at the end. First trap is at the base of these two cedars, just below it. Let's see. I hear a logging operation in the background there, off in the distance.
think sometimes the martin, when there's too much noise, the martin sometimes avoids those areas. But, oop, there's a martin track. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this has been quite a, quite a day. I'm seeing martin tracks, more martin tracks today than I've probably seen most of last season. Yep, traps fired. Do we have a martin here? We get a fired trap, I know that. There's martin tracks all around the box. Hey, <laughs> yep, we got one. Awesome, look at that. Oh, sweet. Oh my God, this is this is unbelievable, man. This is why we trap. Uh, you can't expect every season to be like this, but oh, we trap for days. We trap for days like this. And, Jeez, this is uh, this is the ultimate, man. Look at that beautiful Martin. Wow, the fur is looking great too. Wow, awesome. This is I'm pumped. I'm pumped. This is Martin number five for the day. Whew. Okay, this is the very next set. We just caught a Martin in the last trap, and this is the end of the road. It's a little more open country, more fisher habitat, and sure enough, there's fisher tracks all through here. And I saw a set of tra fisher tracks on the road. These are fresh tracks. Been all through here. The trap is set off. Look at all the fisher tracks all around. But we didn't catch them. The bait is all cleaned out. The trap set off. So I think what happens with these guys is if they don't go head first and stick their head in the conner bear, they trip that trap with their with their foot. And when that happens trap fires off and doesn't hold them it might get, grab them for a minute for a second but it doesn't hold them and then they back out of it and then they go back his day so I don't know the solution but I'm gonna reset it and rebate it and move on from there well, this was a rather active spot the past few days. Got a couple big coyotes moving through here. You got some moose. I don't see any Martin or Fisher tracks. This is a nice intersection though. This is, this is some good looking ground. I was really excited about this set when I put it in here the other day. So, let's see. I get this and then I got two traps to check off that little road to the right there. Is nothing there. Here's our box. Here's our box. Nothing yet. All right. All right. This is my last set in this string of traps, and I got to go a long ways. I got to go about oh, 15 miles, 15, 15 or 20 miles past a bunch of. Um, cut over ground to get to my next good Martin area, but let's see if we got anything here. This is a nice little hardwood gully draw, whatever you call it. I don't see any tracks, but I see a trap got fired. That's a good sign. There might be some old tracks in here. I can't quite tell. Oh, we got a Martin. We got a Martin. We got one. Yes, sir. Oh, sweet. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. They just keep coming. This is number six today. This is the, the best day I've ever had Martin trapping. Yeah. Yes, sir. We are in Martin country this year. That is the difference. And it's a good, there's not a lot of food around, so they're hungry. Look at that gray color. That's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. All right, it's a good thing I keep track of all this stuff with GPS. I I forgot to write down this last trap location on this road. I thought, I was sure I had two down this road, but I was looking at my notes and there was only, only showed one. So I was like, ah, oh, this has gotta be, this can't be right. So I pulled up on X on, on my phone and sure enough, there was a, a, dot, a waypoint with the trap symbol up the top of this hill so there's my flag I had to fill that in, in my notes I don't know I must have been moving fast or something I get distracted and forgot about it 
So I'll check this. Nothing there. Okay. Now we're down the road for quite a ways till we get into the next good piece of Martin country. One thing about running a trap line up here is you never know when you're gonna have some delays. There's two chip trucks here and there's a big chipper and a machine feeding the chipper. And to kind of, I'm just sitting here waiting for them to fill up. Uh, hopefully this truck first truck we get done and then I'll come I'll come around the second one but I want to say they're probably gonna take at least 30 minutes to fill that truck I don't know how long it takes I never sit here and watched one the whole time but I got here just as soon as they started so uh, yeah we'll see but if I turn around the only way to go around to get to my next string of traps is uh, it would be quite a detour and it add another hour hour and a half to my day. all right i'll let you figure out where the town line is between two different land ownerships one that i don't catch as many martin on another that i do coming up on it right now the rest of my, the rest of my martin traps are all going to be within this uh, area that it's been timber harvested but there's still a lot of cover for martin so here's the town line <laughs> All right, I got my set right in here. Thinking any Martin that were displaced by that clear cut this summer, uh, maybe hanging out in this buffer zone. We'll see. Coyotes learning along the road. We're fired, the trap is fired. All right, well, that's a good sign. Uh, and we got Martin tracks here. It looks like, looks like Martin tracks. Yes, yes, we got a Martin. <laughs> All right. Oh man, the day, the great day continues. Oh, that is sweet. Okay. You hear that logging truck on the road there, on the main road. Yep. So this paid off, this little edge of the cut. Oh yeah, that's a nice, pretty, pretty, pretty Martin. Look how beautiful. Oh, I love these guys, look at the fur. All right, sweet. First trap on this road. Man, this is, a, it's been a good day. This is number seven, I think. Six or seven. I was kind of thinking Fisher when I made this set. It's kind of one of those travel way areas with uh, a few roads intersecting and I got a trap out behind a bank there. But the coyotes have been on this road. Um, I don't know if there's any, I haven't seen a Fisher or a Martin track. And nothing today. This one's not very far off the road. Kind of tucked it in behind that bank there. Let's turn around. No tracks. But there could be Martin in the woods here traveling. There's an old road that goes along a pond here. here today nothing here today okay this next spot is by another turnaround I'm um, not seeing too much for tracks on the road but we're getting into some better Martin country here coming up so let's see um, this is an area that I kind of I thought for 
quite a while I was gonna park a camper trailer here and this would be this is kind of my spot I had scouted out and a trap out of it for you know leave it here for a few weeks and come and trap out of it stay overnight for night couple nights at a time but boy running out of time you only get so much vacation time days to do other things so I never did get around to building that I was just gonna make a shack on top of a trailer but I may do it yet we'll never know let's see I think this was up the hill there's my flag I really like this habitat it looked good it looked good to me when I said it anyway I'm kind of getting spoiled I get seven martins so far today this is by far the greatest catch I've ever had and it looks like that trap is set off as well. Wow, let's see. Yep, it's set off. Don't see any tracks. Oh, there's Martin tracks. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> yes, we got another one. Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. This is just unbelievable, man. Wow. We found good habitat. It's a good year. Good bait and lure. All comes together. These are the days we trap for, man. Another nice Martin. Sweet. Do a little trap in this, uh, this little draw here. Just because I've dri driven a long ways and didn't really have a great spot to set. No tracks in the road. Smell my lure. Nope, nothing today. All right. God, it's a beautiful day. Taking too many videos. My phone is running out of space, but I just had to delete some files. We'll see how many more I can take. Anyway, this is, we just crossed a brook here. It's a nice little spot just past this brook crossing. There's a old skitter trail going through here. Kind of like this spot. I checked a few other sets with uh, nothing empty. Kind of going through a patch here where I'm not seeing much Martin sign. So hopefully we get back into them. I get eight so far, I can't complain. Oh, there's my set. All right, nothing there. It is downright hot out here. Sun is coming out, south wind. Not good for fur movement, but it's been cold the last few days. Look at this spot. Look how beautiful this is. We're at the end of this road, and uh, look at this forest. This is just incredible. I couldn't help but I had to set a Martin trap here. It was just absolutely beautiful. I get a down fir tree over there that I set the box on. And it looks like we got something. Another Martin. All right, yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Oh, nice one too. Yeah, look how pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great, that's great. Number nine for the day. I see some tracks coming off the road there. It looks like Fisher or Martin. I couldn't quite tell. They're kind of big. But I better turn the camera on just in case we get, oh, trap set off. Second to last trap of the day. All right, we may have something in here. Ooh, smell my lure. Good stuff. Yep, got one. We got another Martin. All right, sweet. This is Martin number 10 out of about 50 traps, and this has officially become the best trapping day I've ever had in my life. It's just something else, man. We trap for days like this. Well, that's it guys it's the end of the first trap check for the martin and fisher season 
and officially the best trap check of my life. 52 traps total. And let's see what we hauled out of here. We've got a couple of Martin here that didn't fare so well. This one got eaten by, partly eaten by Fisher. This one got, mice got into it a little bit. Unfortunately, this is a nice part. And in here, hey, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? This poor guy, you get the back half of him eaten. Two Martin is a good day for me usually, two or three. Four is almost unheard of. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, wow, and that's something else. What a beautiful, beautiful day. I gotta go, I gotta put these guys away and get back and set some more traps, I'm excited. I'm gonna take the wife and kids this weekend to check traps, so um, that'll be fun. Hopefully we catch a few more. That's it for now.